Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our weekend mini lesson. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you an advanced blues guitar technique, a chordal turnaround in the key of A. So, um, basically what we're gonna do is a 12 bar blues in the key of A, just to make sure all of you have that progression down. We'd have 16 beats on the A7 chord. Eight beats on a D9 chord. Eight beats on an A7 chord. All right, four beats on a E9. To the D9 for four beats. And then back to the one chord, A7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, 16, 8, 8, 4, 4, 8 creates a standard 12 bar blues with some bluesy 7s and 9s. Okay, now that you have the basic chord progression down, let's uh, variate the last two measures to include a turnaround. The very basic one I'm gonna show you is called the basic walk-up turnaround. It sounds like this. And that replaces the last two measures of A7 in that 12 bar blues. So if I was coming out of the, uh, the end of the progression um, on the E9, two, three, four, five, six, this would jump in like this. starts over again for the 12th bar. Okay, so that was 5th fret, low E string. Play that twice. Then the 4th fret of the A. 5th fret. 6th fret. 7th fret. Then an F9 and an E9. Okay, so we added a chord in there, that F9 chord, which is 8, 7, 8, 8, 8. Bring that back a semitone, and then the whole thing wants to resolve, because now you're on the 5 chord, right? 1, 4, 5. And the 5 chord is the crescendo chord. Okay, so in context again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, Just like that. Okay, so now you have the basic 12 bar blues, the basic walk up turnaround. Now we're going to add kind of a jazzy acoustic blues vibe to that turnaround by adding harmonies to each of the notes in that bass line. Okay, again, coming out of the end of that 12 bar blues, the ninth measure on the E chord, a one, two, three, four. One, two, sounds like this. And a nice way to resolve there, just extra. Okay, real slow, again, that technique. So we're taking those bass notes from the original turnaround and adding chords, harmonies over them, okay? So the first chord that we have is an A dominant seven. Okay, again, that's bar and five. We got the A string seven and the G string six. Pluck the root, and then do a little upstroke with your fingers. Okay. You're gonna do the same thing to a chord that we call C sharp half diminished, also called C sharp minor seven flat five. If there was an A in the bass, it'd be called A nine. Okay, but we're riding that bass line. All right, the frets for this, we have four on the A, five on the D, four on the G, and uh, five on the B string. So, so far we have. Then we'll go to that D9 chord. All right, so that's five, four, five, five, five. All right, I can get the high E string in there too, if I like it. All right, now we have. 
All right, next, very cool chord, E flat diminished. All right, A string six, D string seven, uh, G string five, and the B string seven. Love that chord. All right, well, now we have the A, the C sharp, the D, the E flat diminished. All right, then I'm gonna go to an E dominant seven. All right, so now I have seven, six, uh, seven, five. I'm gonna bring that up a half step. Root, strum, root. And then back to that E7 chord for a root strum. So that was F7 to E7. You put it all together now. Then the whole thing can either start over again or you could resolve it. I like to resolve it. The really cool little harmony here. Um, this is a major 713 chord. We got the uh, the root, fifth fret low E string, sixth fret D, and the sixth fret G, and the B string, uh, seventh fret. Okay, or you could just done an A7 chord, whatever you like. All right, so now you got this great chordal turnaround to add to your blues repertoire. Congratulations.